sponge evening, my Buenas friends. Era. I just gave Laura really good news, so she's got a big <laughs> smile on her face. Do you want to break the news? There's 74 minutes available on the card right now on that, on, on that card. On this memory card, 74 minutes. That means no more of this card full stuff for the next 74 minutes and 32 seconds. But check this out. I want you to come close to me so we that got you some can burrata. experience something. Now, experience this with me. Are you up close? Are you close? I'm up close. Mm. That's that's phenomenal right there. Mm. I hope these tomatoes are up to snuff. Do you know what these tomatoes cost? No, how much are they? I was destined to get you ripe tomatoes. It was so hard to find ripe tomatoes. How many were there? Four? Yeah, they're not that even that fabulous. Are tomatoes. you kidding me? I'm call I'm I'm sending them back. They're not it's not tomato season. It's not their fault. How much did they cost were they? Just guess a number. Six dollars. Six dollars exactly. It was like six fifty four. For four tomatoes. Well, they're out of season, that's what you get. Oh, you know what? I'll give them a season. Mm. The burrata is excellent, though. Yeah, I see that makes up for it. Mm. I wasn't sure if you were going to like it, and I was trying mm. to surprise you. Mm. Speaking of, where are we going to dinner tomorrow night? I don't know, but we're taking you guys with us. You guys. Somewhere Wait. in New York, we got to figure it out. Tomatoes well, good, it's going to be tough because we we're going to have to go late because our we have a meeting at noon, a meeting at 4, and then 16. The hotel check-in's at 3, so if you want to get changed, we got to do that. Let's think, where's the second meeting at? The second meeting is at the William Morris offices. Wait. I'm not going to get changed at 2. Oh, what, am I, what did I just say? Hey, Joey, what'd you say? Uh, you so here's the deal. The second meeting? First meeting is down at the bottom of the island, if you will. And then the second, the second one is uh, at 53rd, I guess. And then the hotel is at, uh, mm -hmm. I'm guessing, 30th. But I better eat something. Mm -hmm. And we'll figure it all out. Mm. A little bit of basilico. I, I would marry you again. I think it's a good idea. I think so. I Too bad we have to, it, it's just a lot of work. You know, weddings, inviting everybody. I don't know if I'd do that again. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I was going to say, I don't know if I'd do that again, but I would. Would, right? Loved our All right, so tell me what we have here. Spaghetti squash with bolognese. Spaghetti squash, bolognese. We are living it up <laughs> with the spaghetti squash. You know, I still have a cough after how long? Really? Yeah. I, mean, I, was in, I was in the store today and there was two people coughing and I was like, please, oh, I don't want no. another strain of whatever this is. Uh-oh. So um, my eyes were shiny and watery and um, I felt like very congested. I was like, what, what is happening? Uh -oh. Why is this, why is it Well, the, the air is really, really dry too. Yeah. And it might snow tomorrow, guys. So we're going to be uh, trekking it up to New York well, in a potential snowstorm. Although I disagree with this particular forecast. I think they're wrong. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is snowing. But they did do a great job at preparing the roads, though, I will say. Minus, like, little roads, like our street. Well, That's back at snow. home, there's a lot more snow than there is here. Oh, yeah. Like, Back at home, we're only about 10 minutes away from home, and there's a lot of, there's a, like a good inch or two on the ground already. And it started a couple of hours ago. I got up around 5.30 this morning because we needed to leave at 9, and I wanted to work out this morning. So when I got up at 5.30, nothing. Holly came over at 6.45, and I couldn't see anything outside. It was still dark. But by the time she left at quarter to 8, I looked at, she looked outside and she said, oh, it's a sign that you go into New York, it's either raining or snowing. Because it always either rains or snow when we go to New York. So I looked outside, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. The cars were totally covered in snow. And um, I think it was about an inch. It's a little less than an inch. Probably three quarters of an inch. Yeah, about an inch or two, oh, three quarters of an inch or so. But it's not supposed to snow in New York from what my, my weather forecast can tell me. I don't know if you can see it. $1.97 $1.97 for gasoline. Okay, so now we're lucky, we're fortunate enough to be in part of the country where gas is relatively cheap all the time compared to the rest of the country. In fact, it's not unusual for the gas station in our hometown to be the lowest that we can find, even if you go to like one of those gas websites where they show you the price. But $1.97 is pretty good. Uh, gas started at like 79 cents back before I got my driver's license, I remember those days. And it instantly went up to over a dollar the day I got my license, yeah. just because that's how my life works. And um, 
I have always been of the opinion that gas should be roughly $1.60 a gallon, maybe $1.50 a gallon. That's the right cost if you look at the cost associated with making gasoline. And there's a lot of people who will argue with me on that, but there aren't a lot of people who will argue with me on that who have worked in a refinery, and I did that. And I was an engineer in a refinery. And I used to get all the reports with how much it costs to, to refine the fuel and how much it costs to buy the crude. Once you add those two things together, I would also show you how much it costs to get the crude out of the ground. Once you have all that information, then you can kind of make a good educated guess as to how much gasoline should cost. Look at that, it's a foggy day. Foggy day, somewhere over there in the uh, skyline. I don't think you guys can see it. This is a cool looking bridge. Horatio Street. That's right, Horatio uh, Kane. Horatio, this is Horatio. This is Horatio Street. Horatio Kane is my man. I miss that show so much. Uh, where are we right now? I don't think I've yeah, ever been oh, here. Oh, that's a Chelsea marker right there with the flag up on. Oh yeah, I know where we are. This is the Gavin Port Hotel. Gavin's Port Hotel or something is around here. I don't even know how to say it, but isn't that where the Kardashians stayed when they took over New York, Kim, Chloe, New York? I don't even know. One of those. I'm, I'm kind of a little upset that you know that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be watching that stuff. Oh, yeah. It makes your brain rot. I don't really. I don't watch that, to be honest. There's a the Soho house. No, no that's, that's not. That's a Sephora that I'd that's be visiting. That's the Soho house over there. That's the Soho that house up there. Right there. Let's see. Where else are we? The Chelsea Market is up there, where we park is usually right there. Um, let's La Peine Quintadine. Right La Peine Quintadine. Hmm, I figured I'd share with you. This mm -hmm. is a part of Chelsea. Uh, I think Chelsea starts right there, doesn't it? Okay, well then where are we? I don't know. I gave you that map the other day with like all the. Oh on man! It. You know, you hear of Soho, you hear Ch Soho. No, that's over there. Oh, well, it's Meatpacking District, I think. You hear the Meatpacking District, you hear of Soho, you hear of Upper West, Upper East Side, Park Avenue, but there are a lot more sections <laughs> of New York City that you don't hear about a whole lot. When he showed me the map, I was like, well, what is all, like, what are all these places? And like, that's still, that's, they're, you know, there are parts of New York City that you just don't hear talked, they're not as talked about, but there's a lot. Alright, how many are there? No, there's definitely a lot. I don't know, there had to be 50 of them. Oh man, that's crazy. Oh, she's impressed with the automatic light. So, this is pretty cool. This is a fashion district. And there's people over there making fashionable items. You can actually see, um, second floor, there's like a bunch of clothing racks where they're making different things. I guess that's their showroom. Oh, I'm sorry, third floor. Second floor, is all the people making, I guess, the samples. Except for the one girl over there watching YouTube. And downstairs is um, something totally unrelated to what's going on upstairs. Got the old water towers up there. And a nice scaffold, which I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the, uh, the Hilton Fashion District. And uh, Mrs. Vitali's in there. Got a Keurig. I love this room. She loves this room. She absolutely loves this room. Oh, why, thank you. Um, this is my queen in the king size bed. I got a text message from Nick. Who's Nick? Rossi. What do you say? YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> but you have a schedule problem. Look, that's the face of I just realized I'm supposed no, to be somewhere that's... else today. You mean Nicholas Papa Giorgio did not believe the room? Yes, of course. What's with the long pause of silence? Well, you only live once. You only are born once. Does that mean the baby's coming out? That's what I'm wondering. Whoa, 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 what happened? I'm your ring stabbed me. My, oh, let's say get rid of it. Mm. So you excited for lunch? I'm very excited. I'm very, very hungry today. You are very hungry. I had like nine donuts earlier. There are miniature ones though, they don't count. I just thought it was like six. 
Yeah, because somebody dropped two of them. <laughs> Our meetings went very well. I didn't have a lint roller, so I made one out of electrical tape earlier. I know, it's what are you, what are you, What's on your mind? You ready to go get something to eat? <laughs> Actually, we had this uh, event to go to. You're going to get some... Maybe they're going to give you a bunch of makeup brushes or something. No. Uh, it went really well. I'm tired. What, what, what's on your mind? Well, there's a direct correlation to your ears and throat. Right? Yeah, that's why it's called an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Okay. Because every time I clean my ears, I cough. You were coughing a I minute ago. I feel it in my throat. Yes, yeah, so let's clean my ears. Why are you cleaning your ears midday? I felt like there was something it's in It's like it. not midday, but still, you're, uh, you just cleaned your ears randomly. Yeah, I felt like there was something in it. There wasn't. By the way, I don't like the, the Q-tips they gave you with the hotel. They're not soft. So I used yours. Oh, nice. See, that's why I packed ten, because I knew you'd probably use eight of them. Who packed them? Well, when you asked me for my, my uh, roster of things that should go in the good-to-go bag, I mentioned ten Q-tips as a requirement. Come down your ears, and, and let me know if you feel a tickle in the back of your throat when you do that, because I do, and I cough every time. I do. It almost fell. It almost fell? Yeah, that was almost fall. I fell up the stairs the other day. Need I say more? Yesterday. Colby? <sighs> you have three cold. seconds, two seconds, one second. So, did falling. you have a good time at the event? My pants are falling. What'd you, what'd you get in your bag? Oh, they were so generous. They gave out the whole collection. The whole collection. So I'm going to do a review. Probably not a review because they're phenomenal. Look. They gave out all their brushes. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. And I met some wonderful people that, uh, some wonderful people there that recognized me from La Herne Kitchen and from Italian Style. So that was really exciting. Wow, that is very exciting. <sighs> Now we are going to walk another five blocks, and guess where we're going, guys? It's a little dark out here. You want a dog here? I'm sure. I'm, he is very cute. Very cute. Regardless, they're adorable. But don't steal anybody's dog. I'll try not to. Ice. All right. So we're going to the West Side Home Center because I got to get a key made. Right there. What? Yeah, I got to get my keys made. Oh, ice! Careful. Oh, that's really slippery. Really slippery, huh? Yep. Welcome to New York, folks. I hope nobody falls. Maybe we should put some salt on it. Can you guess where we're going? I don't think I mentioned it yet. Maybe I could tell the guy in the hardware store you should put salt on it. Honey, there's there's like every block would need salt. I know, but that's in front of his store. Somebody falls will sue him. Well, they'll try, but it's technically out on the sidewalk. I know, but then somebody would be hurt. And that's I not think good. It is. It's not good. I should go back. He's I mean, a hardware store. He has ice. He has salt. I right. feel like we're kind of repetitive here. This is like we might as well just take a clip from our vlog last time and, oh. and show you the exact same meal Listen. we got. It's cold out. You see my breath? A and look at the a look at the dots. Look at the dots. Can I tell you something weird? My face is so cold, but my insides are sweaty because I'm walking so fast. Because I need to get to a kudo. I need to get some vinyl. I need to get a noodle. Oh no, it's blurry because it's dark out. There it is. I need Come a on, noodle bowl. And some pork buns, okay? Yes, yeah, pork buns. Sue me for trying to live. So a Pudo didn't work out. There's an hour and a half wait for a table. And they don't let you make reservations. Yep, so here we are. And we're waiting for our driver. We're going to Lay House, baby. We could go to Jasper's Tap House. No, I'm going to Lay House. Feet are burning. Feet are burning. We got uh, the police are going to pull you over. You better behave yourself. We're going to give you a fine for. Push them out of the way. Yep. We're gonna give you a fine for being so good. You're being too fine. Other app? You know what it is? No, I didn't get a permit for this good looking face. I can't move! Again, they're after me again. They just can't leave me alone today. Because I'm riding dirty. How do you feel about the tree being gone? Not thrilled. Look. The Christmas tree's gone. Yeah. But now sad. we're excited for spring. You know excited what? for spring? Yeah. Guys, I won't make any official announcements about it, but I will tell you this much. You might see Laura Vitale on the Today Show again soon. <laughs>
if I have anything official on that, I'll let you know. But it, it's right down there. That's where they, they shoot it. It's not super official just yet, but it might be, and I'll let you know. And it's some exciting news, isn't it? But you know I can't keep secrets from you. You know what I want to. I mean, what's the fun if you can't share what you're doing? Right, what's the fun? Banana Republic. This coat is from Banana Republic, and this shirt I'm wearing is from Banana Republic. And they send me more junk mail than any company in the world. They're great. And this is the first time we've come here, and it's light enough that you can see what we're having for dinner. Go ahead and see if you guys have Because it's good. And I'm getting mussels. And I'm not sure which steak I'm going to go with yet. So I don't know if you guys can see, but up there, there's people doing yoga. And there's apartments in this building. You can buy them. I guess they're condos. Yeah, they're just like the condos. Six million. No, six million dollars. Yeah. Pop change. Just pop change. Actually, I feel like that's a pop change at the bottom of my purse right now. And it will afford me one of these apartments. I was, well, I was trying to, on a serious note here, you know. So, you know, six million. You know. We'll go pick one of them up. Oh, yeah. That way you can do your yoga anytime you want. Oh, yeah. I did yoga this morning. I felt great. Yeah, but was it six million dollar yoga? So I have to ask you a real trick question. This is for everybody watching and for you right now. Okay. What did people do when they were out on a date and their date had to go out, go to the bathroom for five minutes before there were smartphones? What do you do? I just did not have the phone at all. No, I'm saying, what do you do? Well, that must have been a terrible world. Well, maybe I was wrong. It's a little dark in here. I got the mussels, which comes with fries. Oh, you know what? I need ketchup. And you've got a wonderful frisee salad and a stolen French fry. How do you feel about that? I got some truffle salt on that. Ooh. Okay. So I went with the steak au poivre. It comes with fries, but the waiter was kind enough to switch them out for asparagus because I already had fries. And she didn't even give me a second to show what she got because she's already digging in. I'm sorry. She's sorry? I got my steak with Provencal sauce and kale salad. It's my favorite. If you come here, you have to get it. It's so good. It's spicy today, though. When, when a girl knows what she wants, the girl gets what, gets what she wants. It's good stuff. What is this? I had my hair up. And all of a sudden, I was about to jump in the shower and it all fell into a ridiculous side do. That's a nice side do you got there, bro. I know. Uh, anyway, I'm going to jump in the shower and I'm going to be ready for bed because I am exhausted. What time is it right now? Uh, it is 4.33 in the morning. It's 9.46 at night and I've been up oh, since 5.30. I'm, I'm tired. I read that wrong. The number so, exactly what like. good night. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a great day tr trucking along with us. And um, thumbs up for just love. Love all around. I love you guys. Joe VV loves you guys. Joe VV does love you guys. And um, I hope you like my electrical tape uh, <laughs> lint roller. The last minute, you know, everybody's got electrical tape in their bag. It works. It works. Why not do? Uh, and then I put pork chops in it, and it's been simmering, and I just cut up the pork chops. I'll show you. Oh, it smells incredible. But I texted her the picture of the pot, and I said, um, is this enough sauce for you? B.S. there's pieces of pork chops in there.